Our Sunday School stories and other brief explanations of the book of Exodus present it as the simple and inspiring story of a God who frees Israel from slavery to Pharaoh in Egypt. And of course the book is that, excitingly and wonderfully that. But it's more, because like cliche from the sports commentators, Exodus is a book in two halves. That story of God freeing Israel from slavery occupies chapters 1 to 19. And if that was all the story was, it would end there. But there are another 21 chapters from chapter 20 to chapter 40. In those chapters, we get a mix of story and law, a bit like the mix we get overall in the Pentateuch. We get laws wrapped up in story. Christians today don't much like Old Testament law. But as we'll see as we look at the next few books, law is really important. In Exodus, these laws serve to tell Israel how they are to behave if they are to be a holy people. That is a people set apart to serve God. And that's what chapters 1 to 19 have been about. Israel becoming a holy people, a people set apart to serve God and not to serve Pharaoh. And that's the issue that we face today as well. Will we serve, well, not Pharaoh, but the material powers that rule our world? Or will we serve the creator of all? They made a movie of Exodus recently. The title and the contents were as wrong-headed as you might expect from Hollywood. It's not Exodus, Gods and Kings but the Creator versus the powers, the one versus the many. Those powers were Pharaoh, wisdom, magic and the gods all lined up on the one side and the Creator on the other. The storyline of the book, as we said, is in two parts. It begins with slavery and oppression and Yahweh freeing is the Israelites from oppression by Pharaoh and in the other half of the book we deal with covenant and laws how this people made free become holy set apart and not profane as I said the laws are wrapped and rooted in story so in the section that talks about the gaining of freedom and the consecration of the people is followed by the section on the Ten Commandments and the Covenant Code in chapters 20 to 23. Then there's a section on the offering of blood which leads to the building of the sanctuary and then the episode of the golden calf and regulations for the Sabbath laws and story wrapped together ending with the making of the tabernacle you see this book is about that central question of will Israel serve God the one and only the creator of all the giver of all the protector of the powerless and strength of the weak or will Israel serve Pharaoh one among many material goods power among powers whom the weak must obey. Will, is, will Israel be set apart, holy, for God? And you see, we have the same question. Will we serve what is unseen? There's more to life than this. Or serve what is seen? What you see is all you get. That's the motto of the materialist world. But are you convinced there's more to life than this? Perhaps the book of Exodus, even with its laws as we may see later on when we talk about the books that have more laws, is for you.